everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i created this eyeshadow look i knew i wanted to use this palette and i had no idea so it was just playtime for me but i came up with this look and i absolutely loved it so i'm so happy that i did record it and i'm using the meat matrimony palette from the balm which i'll link them down below so i've already primed my eyelids using soft oak paint pot like always but i thought i'd skip that because you guys are probably really bored and then i use matte lin which is a really like nude uh, creamy shade and I just put that on top to make sure the primer was dried then just taking some sellotape and I'm just going to sellotape the outer kind of part of my eye just so I create a really sharp line with the eyeshadow so the first shade I'm going in with is called matte Lopez and it's a very soft brown with like a warmth undertone it's very similar to creme brulee just a tad bit darker which is why I'm using it as my transition shade I'm using my 228 crease brush from Zoeva like always to buff this into my crease but yeah it's a very this formula of the eyeshadows are very smooth this is the first time me using them and I was really really impressed the way that they blended out so I definitely recommend the balm for eyeshadows the second color I'm going in with and I think it is Matt Kuma not too sure you guys know how horrendous I am at pronouncing things but I'm just taking my 227 brush I'm gonna blend this out just in the outer corner to start with so really take it down to the sellotape because you want to make that really harsh line so always make sure you buff like kind of on the sellotape just to get that really sharp line and then I'll take this color into the crease also I like to use circular motions and then sweeping motions when going into the crease it kind of makes like a slight cut crease very soft can hardly notice but that's the way that I like to do it Then going in slightly darker with Matt Moskowitz. I actually had to YouTube this to how to pronounce it because I didn't want to embarrass myself. But you literally pronounce it how you read it, so that's kind of easy. Anyway, I'm taking my 227 brush from Zoeva again and I'm just gonna apply this on the outer corner, but mainly going towards the center of the eye now. So I'm gonna use side to side buffing motions to kind of make this color buff in and blend out that center so then when we put the pink shade on it's going to blend nicely then i'm taking matte reed which is a very matte neutral brown and i'm just going to take my through line little fluffy brush and blend this on the outer corner just by the sellotape to make it really dark so you get like a really nice gradient effect once we put that pinky color on And because I'm using a loose pigment, I always like to put Glitter Insurance Glue from Too Faced. This is my absolute favorite. It's in my kit. I use it all the time when I'm using loose colors. I'm just going to pat this on to where we're going to put the tan pigment from MAC. And it's an absolute beautiful pigment. I do not know why I haven't done a tutorial with this color. I use it on mo well, some of my clients. And everyone loves it. I just don't know why I haven't used it before. And I'm just going to pat this on top of the Glitter Insurance Glue. And then from that center of the eye up until the browns and the purples i'm going to use like little flicky motions with the brush on its side so it blends nicer and it doesn't have like a stop harsh line then i'm taking a peaches makeup pigment called prin which is a beautiful almost like crystal white shimmer oh my god that anyway yeah i'm taking my makeup addiction precise blender brush just use circular motions on the inner corner of my eye because I always like a pop of highlight so I'm going to take off that sellotape and you can see that harsh line and sharpness is real and I'm just going to make sure that it's all cleaned up and all the fallout is gone then I'm going to go in my Maybelline gel liner in black and my 317 Zoeva wing liner brush and I'm just going to create my wing I did quite a long wing this is a really dramatic eyeshadow look in my opinion so I just wanted everything to be bigger their life then you guys know i always use a felt tip liner to fill in the rest of my eyeliner because it's just easier and that's the way i like it and this one is the fine liner from la girl using matte lopez again from the palette and i've cleaned off my two to seven brush and i'm now working this on my lower lash line i wanted it to be very smoky and quite low so i wanted to use a bigger brush than what i normally do i always do side to side motions when i blend out my lower lash line and i move my head so it's just easier for the brush um i don't know whether that's i don't know any useful to you <laughs> but i just thought i'd mention that Then I'm taking my matte Kumar shade again and I'm using my 231 uh, 
brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to use side to side motions again and blend this out and because this is a smaller brush than the 227 you're going to see a little bit of that matte lopez underneath so you get that gradient effect which is what I was going for and I'm going to do the darkness the same from the inner corner to the outer corner um, I just want it to be really smoky on my lower lash line. To make it a little bit more darker, I'm taking the matte reed shade, which is that brownie shade again, and the same principle applies to so the same darkness on the outer corner and the inner corner, and I'm using my little Fruline little fluffy brush to blend this out. This little brush, honestly, it was like, I bought it ages ago, and it is, I always use it, in every single video I swear I always use it, because it's so good, and it's like two pound. Anyway, next I'm just going to go in my Maybelline gel liner and I'm going to tight line and use it on my waterline just to create a little bit more darkness and make my eye look very almondy. Then I'm taking my Giorgio Armani, I think it's Killer Eyes, Eyes to Kill mascara and it is waterproof this one so I'm going to use it on my top and bottom lashes to prepare myself for lashes. So my lashes today I'm using Huda Beauty Mink Lashes in Fire which are one of my favourites for my makeup looks, I just love them. Alright guys, that's it for this eyeshadow tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and join our little family. And hashtag me, Amy's Makeup Box, on Instagram if you recreate this look so I can see. Anyway guys, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!